This December I'm making a Christmas calendar using vanilla JavaScript and HTML canvas. In each one of these days I'm going to procedurally generate a unique Christmassy item because I need icons like these around this time and good free ones are hard to come by. I also want to easily scale and color them in different ways. I hope you'll follow along and implement your own versions so I can showcase them in a special video on the 24th. You'll practice working with coordinates, basic math, and various JavaScript programming techniques. It's a good project, I think, to learn about code modularity, reusability, and how to write consistent code. Today is day 8, and we're gonna learn to draw a candle. Coding with Rob. Let's code now. To draw the candle here on number 8, we're gonna go to index.html and uh, set up a function at the 8th index in our array. Let's say draw candle. And we'll implement this in a separate file, candle.js. Control clicking this in VS Code is going to create it for us in the items folder, like so. And we can implement the function given ctx, dx and y center point, size and the hue for controlling the color. Now I'm going to take a reference to the top and left values so I can define the top left corner when drawing a bounding box here. It's going to be a square with the same width and height. In this way we will see here where we want our candle to fit. And to draw the candle, I'm going to basically break it up into two portions, the candlestick and the flame. So let's have an object here for the stick. Now the width of the stick, let's say 30% of the size and the height maybe 70% of the size, so then the flame is on the top 30%. And the X will just keep it to center. And the bottom, we want a helper variable for this as well, similarly to how we have the top, but adding half the size. Now, the top part of the stick is going to depend on the height starting at the bottom. So to be able to reference height, we are going to implement a getter here for the top, returning this bottom minus this height. And we'll set the color to, let's just say, the normal hue for now. Now, drawing the stick, I'm going to use that line trick. I'm going to make a line like so from the top to the bottom of the stick. And we'll set the stroke style to the color. And then the line width is going to be the width of the stick. Save, refresh, and you're going to get this. And now for the flame, I'm going to draw an ellipse. And we will use ellipses to somehow make this candlestick also look like a cylinder. So maybe it's worth extracting ellipse as a kind of a helper function in the same way that we did for the line here previously when we drew the, the sock, I think. So let's keep that in mind when we implement the flame here. So the flame, it's going to have a width, maybe the stick width, 30% of that. So maybe it's nice to have this value relative to the, to the width of the stick. Then the result looks more uh, balanced. And then the height is going to be the full size minus the stick height. In that way, we have control, so it always fits in that bounding box. The center is going to be x. And then for the ellipse, we're going to need two radii, the x radius and the y radius. I'm going to use here getters for this because I want the width and height of this flame object to control what the radii are going to be. 
like so. So now I'm referencing them using this, otherwise it wouldn't work. And then let's have a Y value for this flame as well. And that's going to be the top of the stick minus this Y radius, which we have at the moment. So like this. And a color, I'm just going to set this to yellow. I'm not using this um, color object for this one because I think fire is usually yellow in these and I don't want the candle to have a weird flame. So maybe hard-coded value is just fine for this item. And now the ellipse object, what I would like it to be able to do is draw an ellipse at the context using the context at the flame x, y, using the flame x radius and y radius. And now maybe some options like the fill style, let's set it to the flame color like this. And we don't have this function implemented yet, but we can do it in the draw object, maybe below the circle here, since ellipses and circles are related to each other. So parameters will be a little bit different because it has two radii here. And then the options are essentially for setting the style. We begin the path. And now the ellipse method of the context has quite many parameters. So it's one of the reasons why I wanted to extract this in our own uh, function. X, Y, X radius and Y radius are clear. But then the next one is the rotation. Maybe we want rotation at some point, so we might extend this function to support that as well. But then it's the start angle, and then it's the end angle. So extracting this into our own function simplifies all of this logic there. We maybe don't want to draw half an ellipse so many times, and very often when we want to draw the full ellipse, we don't have to remember what those are when we use this new function here. And these options, I'm just going to copy the way that we assigned them from the circle object. So like this. And now we save, refresh, and there's the flame. It already looks kind of nice, but I really want to reuse the ellipse object to make this kind of look like a cylinder. So the stick itself needs radii for those ellipses. And um, we need to modify also this bottom so it doesn't go all the way here so that the ellipse doesn't cross this one. So it will move up by the Y radius of, of this one. Let's see, back to the candle. To the stick, I'm going to go here and say X radius, this is going to have to be half the width. And for the Y radius, I guess it depends on the viewing angle. I'm just going to set it to half the X radius like this. And now we need to remember this bottom has to move up by Y radius as well. So here we can set this one using a getter like this. So we have access to this Y radius. And I think we need to do the same thing for the top. Let's see. Yeah, because it, this flame now intersects over there. So for the top, we also need to add here this Y radius. Good. And now we're ready to draw those. So I'm going to go below this draw line and draw an ellipse at the stick X bottom with the stick X radius and Y radius, and then a fill style of the stick color. Save, refresh, and this is our bottom part here. And the same for the top part. So I'm going to just copy this like so, with top instead of bottom here like that. And I want to make this look like a light color here because this shade should be brighter because of the flame. So I'm going to um, define here for the candlestick another color. 
a light color. The lightest that we have, our flame is very bright. And then let's use this one for the top one here. All right, very nice. Maybe this can be a darker version of the color so that the, yeah, the contrast is bigger. This reminds me of those uh, candles I made for, was it Finnish Independence Day and uh, Romanian National Day? They were rotating. <laughs> the flame was always pointing up no matter how you were holding the, the device. Do check those out if you haven't already. 